Aloha. If you haven't noticed, COVID is back. People are getting sick and some are dying, and it's all over the country and the world. We are so tired of COVID, but we have to deal with it, just as before. We have to wear masks and we have to avoid crowds and gatherings, just as before. People don't want to do that, but they really have to, not only for their own sake, but for the sake of all of us. Government is tired too, both federal and state. They were celebrating what they thought was a success in dealing with the pandemic, but COVID is back, and government does not seem to have fully recognized its return. We have more cases more spikes and more variants now, but government has eased the restrictions anyway. It's time for them to get serious, and address this new wave of infection. What makes this worse is that thanks to Trump, COVID has been politicized and is still politicized. There are millions of people in this country who refuse to wear a mask or take a vaccine even now. Yes, it's quite incredible, irrational and for that matter suicidal, just as it was before. But these people are obstinate if not violent about vaccines and masks, and there is little we can do about it. They will have to learn the hard way, but in the process they will infect and hurt us all, and damage our national economy. You can of course do your part. First by making sure you're fully vaccinated, and by wearing a mask in crowds and gatherings. You can also try to talk with those who have refused to do so, and help them become rational. And you can contact representatives officials and regulators to ask them to take and enforce legal action to get serious and require everyone to treat this as a community priority, not as a personal and hopelessly misguided and politicized choice. Why patronize a restaurant shop or other business that doesn't understand this? Indeed, their failure to provide restrictions in their places of business, or their support of candidates who oppose those restrictions, is a deadly threat to all their customers, including you. After all, if we can collaborate, as we have with so many infectious diseases in the past, no one else has to get sick or die. That's the point. We must all help each other, and government must help us all. Let's do that now. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary. Aloha.